caught it the year before me, yeah. yeah but again, past capture, still wanting to be there to see Basil on the bank again and take it in without the blurred vision which you get when it's all happening to yourself. Yeah, you yeah. See with me there, you know, that wasn't really a smile there, that was more a bit of a strain of lifting it. Just to set the scene a little, this footage is taken from the treetops just to the right of where I'm set up in the dugout swim. As soon as we got pretty much over the top of the fish, it's come up in the water really, really easily. And for a split second, I thought I might just be able to get it in the net. But I was a little bit hasty there, as I'm sure you can see. Beautiful old carp. Fine, That one definitely the big one. You can tell by the shape of his pecs. Massive big round spoon pecs on him. Still so difficult to see him, but his width. It's a big fish. Come on, come out the other side. Oh, he took something off the surface. The size of his head. Jump the sack out of the way. Now, hopefully you can make out the little white tipped controller float, plus the creamy coloured chum mixer hook bait just a few feet beyond it. Keep your eyes on it. Here he comes. Here he comes. An old plodder. Another of the proper old history fish. And another history water, toll pits. It wasn't just that fish that was in there, there were, there were other good ones. We had a, another big mirror called Leicester's. Used to be around the same sort of size, low 40s. Yeah, mate. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. And down the actual was the hook bait, and I struck into it, and after having a few refusals over a few weeks before, and I wasn't expecting to set the hook, but the rod arched over and the battle commenced. And This is the Big S, a private water which I fished on and off since 1999. And this footage was filmed at the end of April, beginning of May 2003, when after seeing good weather conditions forecast, I've dropped in for my first session of the spring. <laughs> it's awesome, isn't it? But by midday, there'd nearly always be a good head of carp held up in those snags again. I just spent the night there really and got up early to watch the dawn break and it was well just a lovely still morning in ideal conditions, big panoramic view, flat calm surface. Oh nice. Nice. Man. Nice. Goes. See you, mate. Beautiful. Hold a second. Off he goes, Freddy. Thanks, mate. Dinkadoo. Barrel. Sweet. Put it go. Yeah. I'll do a few on the front, and I'll just get a couple of head on sort of whip shots and that. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. 